Are you chasing the answer for your paid ad strategy? Eager to get your product or service in front of people in all parts of the globe? There's a handful to choose from. Facebook ads, Instagram ads, LinkedIn ads, or to what's likely guided you here, Google ads. When it comes to your paid media strategy, there's a bunch of things that you need to consider. What platforms do you advertise on? How do you target your adverts? What content should your ads consist of? These are all important questions that you need to ask yourself if you want to create a digital advertising campaign that will bring in value. What's good guys, it's Jacinta here from Neighbourhood where we help brands find, sell and keep their people. In this video, we take a look at the various online advertising options out there, the pros and cons and which one is best suited to your business. Now, there's a ton of different online advertising platforms that you can use to promote your business. The most popular platforms are Google search ads, social media ads, display advertising and email marketing. Let's take a look at each of these starting with a fan favourite. Google Ads. Google Ads is definitely the most popular online advertising platform with over 3 million advertisers using the platform to reach their target audiences. Google search ads are incredibly effective reaching users when they search for terms that are related to your business. And as mentioned, you can have laser focus on exactly who your target audiences are. And better yet, you're only paying when someone clicks on your ad which is called pay-per-click advertising. This makes Google Ads an extremely cost-effective way to reach your target audience, as you only pay for the results that you get. It's also a very easy way to track the results of your campaigns so you can see which ones are performing well and adjust your strategy accordingly. Google Ads is the most popular advertising platform and with good merit, a couple of benefits includes cost effectiveness. You only pay when someone clicks on your ad, meaning you can be deliberate with your advertising spend. Notably, greater reach. Google Ads can reach your people in all corners of the world, helping you get your product or service in front of those that need it most. Next is flexibility. You can easily change your adverts if you're keen to try something new or your current content just isn't hitting right. Another great feature is detailed tracking of results. It's easy to see the success of your campaign and areas to fine tune. And finally, geo-targeting. You can target specific audiences with precision from certain behavior buying patterns in Sydney through to China. There's strategy ready to be implemented here. Of course, there's always two sides of the coin. A few drawbacks include that you need to have a good understanding of how the platform works. Google Ads is a detailed platform and you need to have a good understanding of how it works in order to be successful. There's a lot of competition. Because Google Ads is so popular, there's a lot of competition which can make it difficult to stand out from the crowd. With the right strategy though, you can create ads that far supersede your competitors. Just reach out to Neighbourhood if you're needing a hand with this. Next, you need to be strategic. For your campaigns to be successful, there needs to be a strategy when bidding on the right keywords, whilst also targeting the right audience. It'll happen in time. But once you find the right balance, you'll have ads that effectively convert. Finally, it can be expensive. If you don't know what you're doing, you can waste a lot of money on Google Ads. Make sure you do your research or consult with an experienced digital marketing agency to guide you on making sure you get the best bang for your buck. On that note, it's worth looking at how Google Ads weigh up against social media ads. There are paid ads on platforms such as Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and LinkedIn. Social media platforms have a wealth of data on their users, meaning brands like yours can create targeted ads fairly easily. A noticeable difference between the two is that social media ads are more visual based, especially when competing with all the other junk on our social feeds. Here's a couple of pros and cons when it comes to social media ads, starting with the pros. As mentioned, you can target a specific audience. Social media platforms have a wealth of data on their users, which you can use to target your ads. Ads are less intrusive. Social media ads are less intrusive than some other advertising platforms as users are normalized to seeing ads amongst other content. They can be very effective in building brand awareness. Social media ads are more likely to be seen and remembered than ads on other platforms. They're also relatively cheap. Social media ads are generally cheaper than other forms of online advertising, meaning a lower weekly or monthly spend on your marketing efforts. Finally, ads can be shared. 
social media ads are more likely to be shared than other forms of online advertising as there's greater opportunity to share the content. Like with most ad platforms, there's a couple of cons that can't be ignored, such as you need to have a good understanding of the platform you're using. As with Google Ads, you need to have a good understanding of how social media platforms work in order to be successful. What kind of content are your people most receptive to? When are the best times to post? Who exactly are your people on each platform? On that note, they can be time consuming. They can be time consuming to create as you need to ensure that the visuals are on point and the copy is effective. Frequency can be an issue. Social media ads can sometimes be shown too frequently, which can lead to users becoming blind to them. This is where you need to create content that creates emotion and pulls your audience. Next, you need to have a decent budget. Of course, this isn't the be all and end all, but having a solid budget means you can test what works and optimize your campaigns across time. Finally, you need to be creative. As we mentioned above, social media ads are more visually focused. So you need to be creative in order to make your ads stand out. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe and leave a like. And if you're on YouTube, make sure you hit that bell so you can stay up to date on all the latest videos delivered every week in your inbox. Another form of marketing that is too good to ignore is email marketing. If you're outside of the loop, email marketing is a form of online marketing activities that involves sending emails to customers and potential customers. The aim of email marketing is to build relationships with customers and potential customers and to promote your products or services. Email marketing is effective as it allows you to reach a large audience and it's a very cost-effective way of marketing that produces some phenomenal results. Though there's a few reasons why we should choose Google Ads over email marketing if we had to lean into one or the other. Firstly, you need a large database. In order for email marketing to be effective, you need a large database of customers and potential customers. Of course, this is built up with time, so don't discount email marketing if you aren't drowning in contacts. Next up, is that you need to be creative. Email marketing is pretty competitive, which is why you need to be creative to stand out from the rest. You need to be careful with spam. If you're not careful, your email marketing campaign could end up being considered as spam while driving your unsubscribe rate. Another aspect you need to maneuver are email open rates. If you lack strategy and creativity, your open rates can be quite low. This means that your message isn't getting through to as many people as you'd like. We've got a bunch of blogs on how to create high performing email campaigns, so definitely check those out. Next is that you have less flexibility with email marketing. With Google Ads, consumers are being served an advert at a particular time when they have a need for a product or service. With email marketing, it will be sent to anyone on your database regardless of whether they need it or not. And finally, email marketing can be quite intrusive. If you're not careful, your email marketing campaign can come across as being too intrusive and ward people away from ever wanting to touch your product or service. This is something you need to avoid as it will only annoy potential customers. As you can see, there's a couple of things you need to take into account when choosing the right digital platform to advertise your business. Google ads are often the most effective form of online advertising and the most popular. Whichever one you choose, you need to consider your budget, your target audience, and your objectives before you make a decision. If you need a hand in your paid marketing strategy, Neighborhood have been around the block helping a bunch of clients gain some pretty impressive results. Definitely check out our case studies for more on this. That's it from me, happy marketing.